Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 of my series where I explore the museums that are offered by the Student Art Pass in London. Today the random number generator picked number 24 which was the- wait a minute. That's Storage House Museum and I've actually been doing an internship there for almost a year now. In fact you've probably seen it in a few of my TikToks. I work in the archives. So this time I actually get to show you what the rest of the museum looks like. So I personally consider this one of London's hidden gems because it's tucked away in between Kingston and Putney. George House was completed in 1936 by Dora Gordine, who was a sculptor, artist, and designer, and her husband, Richard Hare, who was a diplomat, academic, and Russian art collector. This here is Dora's modeling studio, and we actually have a lot of her original works on display. And here's a timeline that details Dora and Richard's lives together. Then upstairs, we have the sculpture gallery, which is one of my favorite rooms in the museum. Dora's art is unique because her personal style blends influences from Eastern Europe, Asia, and France. And then we have touches of Richard Hare's Russian art collections. And the furniture you're going to see throughout is actually based on furniture from the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. On the other side of the studio, we have more of Dora's artworks, including drawings that she did during World War II when bronze was being rationed for the war efforts. And I cannot get enough of this natural lighting. As you go up the stairs, you're greeted by beautiful portraits of Russian monarchs, which I'm a bit biased, but obviously I love these. And then one of my favorite things to do as I walk up the stairs is to dust this little statue of a girl on a horse. Then up the stairs into the studio flat where Dora and Richard would have hosted dinner party. Dora actually had a habit of sliding these doors open when she wanted to carry the party into the salon. And then we go on to Richard's Russian art collection. And in the 1980s, there was actually a robbery at Dorich House. But thankfully, some of these items were actually later discovered on the black market, so people were able to return them to Dora Gordine, including this little statue here. And guess what? I've cataloged these Russian dictionaries. Not that I speak much Russian, the only word in Russian I can read is da, which means yes. These two chairs are also pieces that I love. Honestly, it's kind of hard to pick some of the pieces. We also keep pine cones on them to keep people from sitting on them. And this painting here is of Richard by Dora herself. And then another one of my favorites, this drawing by Dora of Ludmila Pavlichenka. And then I know I keep calling these my favorites, but also some beautiful Russian icons and some more of the chairs. And in case you haven't had enough stairs yet, you can actually go up onto the roof and there's a beautiful view overlooking Richmond Park. In all the time that I've worked here, I have never gotten tired of this view. So please do give us a visit and don't forget to like and follow to find out which museum I'll be visiting next time.